Hey, why are you guys working? We got a bench press competition. Come on. So you use your money on the boss? No, I got money. Okay. <laughs> Lap. You call Willow or I'll call Willow and see who she comes to. Okay? You're right there. You ready? Go. Willow, Willow. Come here, come here, Willow. Willow. Come here, Willow. Willow. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. That's okay. That's okay. You have to think of a bet. Whoever loses has to jump tomorrow in the front pond off the rock. Deal. Deal. All right, someone's getting wet in 32 degree water tomorrow, and that's going to be me. All right, it is day two. It's amazing because it actually feels like day four. Doesn't it yeah. feel like we've been in here for a little bit of time? It does. Right? It does. It's day two. We just finished up lunch. As it doesn't look like things have gotten done, there's actually an enormous amount of stuff that has gotten done. We've gotten the entire Infinity Edge Reservoir finished up with the waterfall, with the palms, with the stumps, all the landscape and stuff done over there. April's doing her thing as I far as doing the slate and all the touch-up stuff. You got your guy doing a killer patio over here and doing a patio with six inch thick flagging is not an easy thing to do and the joints are perfect that's like what i was talking about right. those joints i mean i told hunter that you could do this i'm not sure how it shows up in video if you can really tell when the people are watching it on film the difference between putting it in with two and three inch gaps and throwing in the the dust and cutting those things in <laughs> where it's like three quarters i mean look, inch, look at this really quick this i mean this is this is amazing and look at how thick they are i mean I mean, they're that thick so they're easily five to six inches thick some of them are even a little thicker and the joints are just perfect the way they've been all cut into the existing patio over here looks great and he's about I think a third of the way finished so yeah. there's gonna be a fire pit that sits in over here and then he's gonna do another patio he's over here the same match the edge detail to match those smaller stones he's gonna bring in over here that's how all this is gonna tie together and clean up the crazy edge on the pavers over here oh yeah and notice something missing <laughs> so our guys finally finished that i think yeah. early this morning got that all cabled and tightened off over there so that's, that's good awesome. to go yeah that's awesome because this whole space just feels so much more open now tristan's working on a secret project over here he's got some big boulders in hiding the foundation to our big pole we've got to leave a little bit of room for a tree to hide the rest of the pole there but then he's got something going on over here which we'll be showing you later yep. and then i think now that it's after lunch I'm gonna kind of come over here and button up this whole area get this all sealed up with bib liners and everything else right. and then John I think are you gonna start working on uh, shaping out some waterfalls yeah I'm gonna work on the waterfalls I'm really excited to see how all this ties out where that negative edge comes over because this is a really sweet rock right here yeah this That's is gonna look awesome. great this looks incredible why don't you tell them your idea you had for over here and why you wanted to do it I saw the whole straight line of the deck all the way across the front of the house is this massive straight line line and I thought to myself how cool would it be if I took a taller boulder and just like chainsaw it back into the porch <laughs> for Brian to fix no, it. No, no, no. he's like, eh, no, no, no. That's so cool. I'm like, oh yeah, super cool. Those guys, we found the right rock to go in here and the team is out there. Team Aquascapes is cutting a notch into the side of this boulder so that we can slide it over here and frame out these floating steps. I think that is going to be so sweet. And it's been just a lot of high level detail work back in this little bitty corner, but it's like the anchor and I think the view if you think about being inside this house and coming out it's a natural like something you can lean back on if you're talking to somebody inside it's something you're going to put your hand on as you walk across the steps and it's going to lose this straight edge all the way through here i think i know I... it's like a ton of man hours but it's going to be awesome <laughs> so the one thing modern design does not lack is their attention to detail they're really focused on all those little type tiny things and i 100 percent agree with john that to break up the long straight line of this deck with a boulder notched in here would be really cool. Love the way these stepping stones turned out. Took us some time just to get them to cantilever just right, sit just right, all have to be exactly the same level. And unfortunately, each one of these is a different thickness. So that takes some time just to set up. Things are definitely coming along. It's gonna be an incredible backyard with tons and tons of detail. I'm stoked, man. And this whole thing back here and all the moss and the way it's finishing out in the corner. I'm ready. I gotta go do something <laughs> by I'm super excited all to right, see man. it
He just walked that way. Come on, I want Corey. Come on. Okay, you ready to do this? You ready? What do you mean right now? I said five o'clock. It's five o'clock. Let's warm up. Let's go. I don't even know if we warmed up. Give me that camera. Come on. Let's go, guys. Come on. Hey, why are you guys working? We got a bench press competition. Come on. All work and no play. Come on, let's go. All right. So here's the thing. I need as many people up there as possible because it's psychological. I gotta intimidate this guy. He's young. I'm the boss. It's like the big brother syndrome. It's psychological. When I did the bench press competition for the world's underwater bench press, I set the world record two years ago. I had like 70 kids in the in the pond that summer. Much of them bigger, stronger than me, but they couldn't handle the psychology of having the weight beneath them. And so, come on, Willow, let's go. Couldn't handle the psychology of the weight beneath them. And so, huge part of that was, was psychology. So it's all about psychology here. I gotta get in this guy's head because he's a big, intimidating young man. Come on, Willow. All right, so you use your money on the boss? No, I got money. Okay. <laughs> Beth, note that. I got that. <laughs> Look at all that product going out. And why is it so blurry? Why is this thing so blurry? It's not blurry anymore. <laughs> Let's see who Willow picks. You call Willow and I'll call Willow and see who she comes to. Okay? You're right there. You ready? Go. Willow, come here. Come here, Willow. Come here, Willow. Come here, come here. 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 Okay, now right now, we're gonna show us our hands. So we're gonna show our hands. All right, Corey, how old are you? 22. 22, 50. So are we going with the youth, or are we going with the experience? You got the old man strength. Oh, see, see. <laughs> so how many people, I'm just gonna get on film right now. Who are you going with? Corey. Okay. Ooh, three. Who? You. Four. I don't know. Well, you gotta pick. I'm gonna flip the coin then. No, I don't know. Corey, I guess? Okay, Corey, so there's Corey. two. Corey? Greg. Greg? 100% Corey. Okay. I Corey, hear. Corey, stop. What are you doing? He's <laughs> pouring some out. We go. Corey. Corey? Corey. Corey? Holly, Daria. Corey. Okay. Corey. Corey? Oh, fine guy. Fine guy? Big race coming if you beat him. Big race. Corey. All right, so everybody that's for Corey, stand on this side. Everybody that's for the winner, stand on this side. We have to think of a bet. Do you have an idea for a bet, Corey? I'm going to let you, since you're probably going to lose, figure out what the bet wants to be. What do you want it to be? I win. Yeah, if you win, what do you want? But if you lose, you got to give it to me. 50 bucks. 50 bucks, you want to do 50 bucks, okay. 50 bucks, which is nothing if I lose. That's a lot of money for him because he works as a contractor here, so he probably doesn't make so much, right? 50 bucks an hour. 50 bucks an hour, okay, now we're talking. $50 an hour raise, Ha! Huh? You want to do that? $50 an hour for one day, but you have to pay me. You have to pay me if you lose. Pay you 50 bucks? Well, if you work 10 hours, that's 500 bucks. Yeah, that sounds good to me. You want to do that? Oh, wait a minute, you voted for Corey. You voted for Corey. Okay, how about this, Corey? They don't want me taking your money, and I understand why they're over there even telling you not to do it. If you thought he would win, why would you tell him not to do it? Clean his bathroom. How about this? Whoever loses has to jump tomorrow in the front pond off the rock. Do it. Do it. All right, someone's getting wet in 32 degree water tomorrow, and that's gonna be me. Challenger up first. This kid has been talking smack since the first day. How long have you been working here? How long have you been working here? Nine months. Now. Nine months. From day one, he came up to me and he just pushed me and he goes, you got nothing on me, old man. And now we're finally going to see if he does it. I've been all quiet and calm and relaxed and humble. And this guy's been spouting off from day one. All right, go up there, buddy. Put an extra plate on there. We're going to see who can do the most at 225. The same thing they do. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, Corey, come on. Come on, Corey, you got this. You can do this once. You can do this once. Call him out, guys. Call him out. Come on, go, Corey. Corey. One, two, three. Get that butt down. Four, five, four, yeah. six, three, seven, three, seven, three, seven. seven. Come on. Eight. Come on.
That's the most you've ever done? Okay, so that's pretty good. He's, he obviously rose to the challenge. So now I'm gonna ask you, you just saw 22 year old Corey come out here and press 11 with 225. Do any of you want to change allegiances and go to the side of the winning team? My CFO, my HR manager, my sales manager, my second longest teammate voting against the budget. Are you changing? You work tomorrow. You don't get to change it. Come on. You stay over there. Take our picture so I can remember who is down here. See my great first speech like 300 times in his head.